Hi all of you, a very good afternoon and welcome to uh, today's uh, refresher session on SSE CGL. Uh, so today we are going to be discussing the quantitative ability and the reasoning ability section uh, from the last week SSC CGL AM examination that was given to all of you. Uh, so as I said today first we will look at, a, look at the general intelligence and uh, reasoning uh, section yes from the SSC CGL paper that was given last week. So if you look at the uh, general intelligence uh, section from the there is the reasoning ability section from this paper there were two questions on directions then uh, there were uh, four to five questions on finding the finding the odd one out then uh, four to five questions on alphabet test then some, a few questions on series questions on syllogisms and um, questions with uh, symbols right symbols where you had to replace the symbols with operations uh, so these were the questions that came mainly from the uh, general intelligence and reasoning uh, section yes so let's start let's start discussing the uh, uh, reasoning ability section let us see which questions came and let us see how to approach these questions so the first question for today's session is there on your screen this question was on directions so what is asked here Ganesh cycled towards southwest a distance of 8 meters then he moves towards east a distance of 20 meters from there he moves towards northeast a distance of 8 meters and so on some information is given the question is how far is he from his starting point a very very uh, easy question on directions you just need to draw the diagram correctly here you have east west north and south so Ganesh cycled towards the southwest which is southwest direction this is southwest yeah so he cycled towards southwest direction for 8 meters and then he moves towards east he goes in this direction for a distance of 20 meters from here he moves northeast means he's again going like this for 8 meters then he moves towards west a distance of 6 meters he's going like this for 6 meters then what does he do now he moves towards northeast a distance of 2 meters so this distance is 2 meters then he moves towards west a distance of 4 meters then he moves towards southwest again it is this direction yes again this he's going 2 meters now what is the question what is his distance from the starting point very easy no see he is stopping here finally see you know this distance right it is going to be 10 because this is 4 this length is you know is 4 this is 4 this is 6 so this has to be 10 so what should be the remaining length here total length you know is 20 this is 10 so this also has to be 10 so what is his distance from the starting point his distance from the starting point is 10 meters my figure is not up not of scale but this is how you solve it so the answer here will be 10 meters that is option 2 very easy one no next one daily in the morning the shadow of gold gambas falls on bara kaman and in the evening the shadow of bara kaman falls on gold gambas exactly this was a very very easy question uh, just what you need to know is the concept of directions yes see in directions whenever it is early morning yes morning time what happens morning time sun is towards the east okay see you have north south north south east and west during morning time sun is towards the east so if i am standing facing the sun okay if i am standing facing the sun in the morning where will my shadow be my shadow will be behind me that is towards the west so always remember during morning time yes shadow is towards west similarly in the evening time what happens sun is in the west right so if you are facing sun is here yeah sun is here so if you are facing the sun in the evening time where will your shadow be your shadow will again be behind you that is towards the east so during evening time shadow will be towards east okay now this is what you have to remember now what are they saying there are two uh, i think it's building right there are two buildings so what happens um, it is given that daily in the morning the shadow of gold gamas falls on bara command see these are the two buildings now morning means sun is in the east that is this direction when sun is falling on these two buildings where will their shadows respectively be there the shadow of this building will be like this right it will come here that is behind this building similarly the shadow of this building will be here behind the building basically this is the building both the buildings are facing the sun means this one's shadow will fall like this behind it this one's shadow will fall like this behind it yes now uh, what are they saying the during morning the shadow of gold gamas falls on bara kaman 
which one has to be gold gamas this one has to be gold gamas and this one has to be bara gamma and in the evening what happens see in the evening remember that the sun is in this direction sun is going to be here so where will the shadow of this one be it's going to be in this direction shadow of this one is going to be in this direction that is towards the east yes so they are also said that in the evening the shadow of bara gamma falls on gold gamas so this is so definitely this is the place where both the buildings are there respectively this is b this is g now what is the question in which direction is gold gamal to bara kaman so which direction is gold gamal with respect to bara kaman it's towards the east that is eastern side option 1 i hope it is clear yes this is the only thing that you have to remember in the morning always the shadow will fall towards the west in the evening always the shadow will fall towards the east and just you have to fix build which building is where clear no let's look at the next one Now this was one question on number series that was given. So what is given here? One hundred and fifty-seven, one hundred and fifty, one hundred and forty-one, one hundred and twenty-nine, one hundred and thirteen. What will be? What will come in the question place of question mark? Again, a very very easy series. Yeah, here one hundred and fifty-seven minus seven is one fifty. One fifty minus nine is one forty-one. One forty-one minus twelve is one twenty-nine. One twenty-nine minus sixteen is one hundred and thirteen. So what will be the next one? It has to be minus twenty one, right? See, uh, what are we doing here? Minus seven, minus nine, right? Seven plus two is nine. Nine plus three is twelve. Twelve plus uh, four is sixteen. Sixteen plus five is twenty one. Yeah. So that's what they have done. So what will come here? One hundred and thirteen minus twenty one, or that is equal to ninety two. See, I hope it is clear. See here, it is difference is seven. Here difference is nine. Twelve, sixteen. Now seven plus two is nine. Nine plus three is twelve. So twelve plus uh, four is sixteen. Sixteen plus five. Next one should be sixteen plus five. So sixteen plus five is twenty-one. So the correct answer is option three, ninety-two. Next one. In the following question, the number of letters are skipped in between uh, by a particular rule. Which of the following series observes the rule? See, this was also a fairly easy one. See, uh, what is happening here? If you look at option one, what is the pattern that is being followed? A, E, J, O. Then you have T and then Y. See, A plus four, right? A plus four is E. E plus five is J, and uh, J plus five is O. O plus five is T, and T plus five is Y. Correct? Yes. Now, if you look at the next one, you have A F K P U Z. Now here, A plus five is F. F plus five is K. K plus five is P. P plus five is U, and U plus five is Z. So here, there is a uniform pattern that is being followed throughout. Yes. So this has to be the one which observes the rule. You can also check the other option. Again, what you will get is, uh, I think in some places it will be plus five, some places it will be plus four. There is no uniform rule. So the only pattern, only um, option which will follow a particular rule or a fixed rule is option two. So the correct answer here will be option two. Yes, if you look at this option again here, you will have plus five, plus five, plus five again. But here, it is plus four, correct? Uh, so again, that will not follow. Then, if you look at this option again, hey, a e here is plus four. Then e i becomes plus four, correct? Then here it is plus five. Yeah, again, no fixed pattern. So the only correct answer here will be option two, where the difference between each set is plus five. Yeah, okay. Next one. Find out the set of numbers amongst the four set of numbers given in the alternative. Eight fifty six seventy two. Again, a very very easy set. Correct. What is the eight into seven is fifty six. Eight into nine is seventy two. Similarly, which is the one which will follow the same pattern into seven into nine? If you look seven, seven uh, into two. Sorry, seven into six is forty two, and seven into nine. No, I need into seven into nine, right? So look at this one. Here, look at option three. What is option three? Six into seven is forty-two. Six into nine is fifty-four. So one, the the number in the beginning, yes, into seven into nine. That's what the operation that they have done. So that is option three. See, remember, this is not the correct answer because you have here seven into six and seven into nine. So here it is six and nine. I need seven nine, right? Like how they have done in the question. So the correct one will be option three. Next one. Which of the following set of letters, when sequentially placed at the gaps in the given letter series, shall complete it? 
So, which letter series uh, should come here to complete it? See, this is going to be the pattern, right? B C B A C A B C B A C A B C B A C A B. You have just divided it and wrote it so that yeah, got confused. See, if you divide it like this and see, you know, then it is very easy. This is the pattern actually that has been followed. Yeah, B C B A C A B C B A C A. That's all. This is being repeated. B C B and A C A. Yeah. So if you actually put a dash like this and write, it's more easier to understand. Actually, it was an easy one, but yes, again in the examination, just by giving this, you should uh, being able to get this is a bit difficult. Yes. There is no specific approach which you can use. It is always a trial and error method for such questions. As I said, for some questions, if you actually, if you feel that there is some sort of repetition happening, might be if you put a bar like this in between the given letters and try, we might be able to get the answer. But otherwise, there is no specific method which you can follow to solve such questions. At times, such questions are time consuming in the examination. So, depending upon the time uh, and whether the question is easy, choose the question. Otherwise, the better will be to skip such questions. Next one, 9 into 7 is equal to 32, 13 into 7 is equal to 120, 17 into 9 is equal to 208, then 19 into 11 is equal to dash. See, how am I able to get uh, 9 into 7 as, th as 32? See, it is, what is 9 uh, plus 7? 9 plus 7 is 16. What is 9 minus 7? 2. 16 into 2 is 32, right? Similarly, you have 13 and 7. What is, the, find the sum of the numbers yeah, find the difference of the numbers, multiply, multiply the answers that you get. That is the pattern that is being followed. So similarly, if you have 19 and 11, then you will have 19 minus 11, that is equal to 8 and 19 in uh, plus 11, that is equal to 30. So 30 into 8, that is equal to 240 will be your answer. That is option 4. This is the pattern that is being followed. Next one. Again, there were five questions on this uh, this type. So, I have just taken two. Uh, very, very easy such questions are. Whenever such questions come, we should uh, make them correct. Actually, there were um, not five, I think three. Yeah? Three questions were there from this same type. Uh, so, how do you solve this? See, from the given alternative, select the word which cannot be formed from the letters used in the given word. Very, very easy question, right? See, if you see, look at the options, there is word seats. Here, S is repeated two times. Here, there is S is appearing only once. So, definitely using these words, I cannot form the word seats. So, that is the word that cannot be formed using the letters in the word T stall. Similarly, now let us look at counterpart. So, if you look at the word counterpart, which is the word that cannot be formed using these letters? Tell me, yeah. Uh, for the first one, the answer is 4, which is correct. Now, for the next one, the answer is going to be temper, correct? Because M is not there here. In this word counterpart, the letter M is not there. So, I cannot form this word temper using the words in counterpart. Next one. Uh, in the following question, select the related letter or word or number from the given alternatives. So, B, E, H, K is to Y, V, S, P is as C, F, I, L is to dash. So, how have they written here? Tell me the answer for the first one. See, if you arrange the alphabets, uh, letters like this, opposite to B is Y, correct? See, from the beginning, B is position second. From the end, Y is position second. So, I can say opposite to B is letter Y, correct? So, for B, they have used Y. Similarly, which is opposite to E, opposite to E is V. Yeah, that's what they have again coded here. Similarly, you have H and opposite to H is S and opposite to K is P. So, similarly, what will be the code for C, F, I, L? C, F, I, L means C is will be coded as X, F will be coded as U, I will be coded as R and L will be coded as O. So, X, U, R, O is going to be your exact code, X, U, R, O. Yes, our is to second is as tertiary is to dash. See, what is our, how is our and second related? See, hour is a measurement of time, right? Yeah, tell me the answer for this. So, I can say that uh, like second is the smallest form in which I can express 
time right or the very basic or primary form in which I, I can express time is second then from seconds you can say 60 seconds is one minute then you can say 60 minutes is one hour right similarly if I have a word tertiary uh, what will be the basic of that that is going to be primary generally where do we use this word tertiary when we are referring to colors yes see we have some primary colors so by mixing these primary colors generally we get tertiary colors so that is the easy way to understand the meaning of this word tertiary correct so uh, tertiary will be tertiary analogy will be same you uh, following the same method it's going to be primary yeah hour is to second is as tertiary will be to primary yes so that's what I said, uh, how, uh, where we would have come across this word tertiary is when we learn about colors in school. Yeah, you have primary colors, when you mix primary colors, you get uh, secondary colors. Then again, when you mix secondary colors, you get tertiary colors. Next, find the odd one out. Here, A plus 2 is C, correct? X plus 2 is Z. Here, if you have P plus 2 is R, U plus 2 is W. Similarly, F plus 2 is H plus 2 is S plus 2 is U here again A plus 2 is C but X plus 1 is Y so this is going to be your odd one now next one A E I O B J F N C G K O D H L P which is the odd one here see A plus 4 is E E plus 4 is I I plus 6 is O correct here you have b plus 4 is f f plus 4 is j j plus 4 is n similarly c plus 4 is g g plus 4 is k plus 4 yes yeah, so if you see all these other options it is plus 4 right the different that is everywhere it is plus 4 it, only here you have a plus 6 so your correct answer is going to be option 1 that is a e i o that is the odd one out Everywhere else, the difference uh, between each letter is plus 4. Yes, so the correct answer here is A, E, I, O, D, E, F, G, H, E, yeah, plus 4, H, I, J, K, L, again, plus 4, L, M, N, O, P, again, plus 4. See, all the others, difference between each letter is plus 4. Only here you have a plus 6. So, it is going to be option 1. Next one. See, when it, when it, uh, the, uh, when the, uh, when the questions on finding the odd one out, there were two more questions. One question was like this ear, kidney, lungs, etc. And they had asked you for the odd one out. Again, that was a very easy one. Uh, all the organs that were given were internal organs except ear, which was an external organ. So, ear was the odd one out there. Then there was also another question where you were given cotton, uh, synthetic, such, uh, about fabrics yeah so in that again cotton was the answer because it was the only natural fabric the, all the others were synthetic so i have not taken those two questions because these are self-explanatory and again in analogies there was one more question which was like the smoke is to pollution is as war is to dash again you know smoke smoke causes pollution similarly war will cause destruction okay now let us look at these so what is the pattern that is being followed here here you have uh, 90 8 minus 26 is 72 here i have 32 minus 14 is 18 18 minus 10 is 8 so what should come here 26 yes so 72 minus 22 that is going to be 50 and 50 minus 18 is going to be 32 so this is the pattern right from minus 26 you have minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 etc so the correct answer that we are looking for here is 50 that is option 3 now when we look at the next one what is the pattern see w minus 1 is v correct v w w minus 1 is v then if you find out the relationship between v and p what is it v minus 6 is p right p after p q r s t u v yes again p minus 1 is o so again here i minus 1 is h and here the difference is minus 6 difference is minus 6 so which is the word that we are looking for i mean the letter that we are looking for next it is going to be a minus 6 so what will come there a minus 6 has to be u correct so after u b w x y z and a so here it has to be u and so what will come here again minus 1 u minus 1 that is t okay so the correct answer here will be u t that is option 3 next one 
in the following question you have to identify the correct response from the given premises stated according to the following symbols see they are saying that greater than symbol represents divided by this represents multiplied by the symbol represents plus the symbol represents minus plus symbol represents equal to to symbol represents less than greater than yes this is a time consuming one you have to again this question you can solve it only by trial and error method uh, so there is no other shortcut again here they have it, it is a bit confusing no when they give it this way greater than equal to divided by suddenly for us to click that okay greater than means it is divided by it takes some time yes so this is what they have said now you have to check with the options yes you have to replace these operations uh, with the symbols that is given here and try to see which will which expression will be correct so actually if we try the first expression yes what is it that you will get see you have 6 plus 2 greater than means divided right 2 by 3 minus 8 uh, here it is upward symbol means x 8 into 4 is equal to 13 again just by looking here you need not solve this see you know 2 by 3 is going to be a fraction you have to use board mass rule here so you have to do division first and then uh, multiplication then addition and so on right so here division if you do itself i know the answer that i'm going to get here is in terms of a is in terms of point right i'm not going to get an integer as the answer so definitely this option is not correct okay now look at the next set uh, again you have uh, six uh, six what is the symbol six minus two plus three divided by 8 again here if you see see there is no basically i need to uh, get some sort of expression right equation on the lhs and the rhs that is into means less than so at least i can compare see i need some kind of inequality symbol right either an equal to symbol or greater than or less than right only if this symbol is there in the expression i can compare lhs and rhs and say whether it is correct or not this minus this minus represents greater than yeah so you have to again check it if that was not there i could have omitted this option but here i have a greater than symbol yeah this minus represents greater than so again you have to still check that if you do that also what do you get here less than is plus uh, 4 greater than 13 okay so you have to check if this is correct so you have 3 by 8 6 minus 2 is 4 again it's not true yeah definitely not greater than 13 does not follow same way check for option 3 option 4 will be correct see there are no shortcut here one shortcut as i said that you can use is this just check for the symbols that is coming in the expression like for example in a particular option if these three symbols are not there at all that is this equal to less that less than greater than right these operations don't come at all then by using these symbols alone i cannot conclude anything so if there is any such option might be you can eliminate that option but here i thought this was an option like that but no you have a minus here you still have to check that also if any such options are there you can eliminate that try out the rest again you can check for this see like this divided by 2 divided by 3 right here i know the answer has to be equal to 13 when it is 2 divided by 3 i know the answer is not going to be an integer so don't solve and see for such options you need not solve completely just by seeing you should be able to say this uh, this won't work okay 2 divided by 3 is a po number with point so i will not get a perfect integer as my answer when i do these operations yeah uh, so similarly you have to check option 3 and 4 when you check option 4 what you will get is you have uh, 6 divided by 2 into 3 uh, less than is what plus 8 minus 4 that is equal to 13 you know 6 by 2 is 3 3 into 3 is 9 9 plus 8 minus 4 that is 9 plus 4 which is equal to 13 so that is going to be anyway your correct answer okay some of you are saying that you are preparing for SSE class SSE CGL class for the first time okay uh, very good see in the reasoning ability section in SSE CGL is fairly easy these are the question types that you can expect in the examination also so just with practice you will be able to do reasoning ability fast okay generally uh, ssc cgl reasoning uh, section is easier i would say compared to banking except uh, if the logic doesn't click at times like for number series or analogies otherwise it's fairly easy so uh, you'll have to work really well for the quantitative ability section where you can expect questions on uh, algebra trigonometry geometry etc okay now here what is given here the table has some data Fi uh, forecast the growth rate of the year 2013 from the following 
data. So what should you do? See in 2008 growth rate is 3.5, in 2009 growth rate is 3.7, then it is 4.1, 4.9, 6.5. So next what will be the growth rate? So how can we solve this? See 3.5 plus 0.2 is 3.7. 3.7 plus 0.4 basically you are squaring right uh, 2 means here 4 then next is into 2 right plus uh, 0 0.8 so here it is plus 0 0.16 that is 0 0.2 into 2 similarly 0 0.4 into 2 uh, 0 0.8 into 2 so next will be 0 0.16 into 2 so that is going to be 0 0.16 into 2 is 3.2 correct so I will have 6.5 plus 3.2 that is equal to 9.7 that is option 3 okay plus 0.2 plus 0.4 plus 0.8 plus 0.16 plus 0.16 into 2 that will be plus 0.32 I mean 3.2 that is 9.7 yes next one next question was on syllogisms so what is given here some books are some books are novels all novels are I am drawing the basic diagram, all novels are magazines, some magazines are journals. Now what are the conclusions? The first conclusion says some novels are journals. See it is a possibility, it can be true or it need not be true. So you cannot say it is a definite conclusion. So I can say that conclusion 1 does not follow. But then before deciding that look at conclusion 4 they are saying no novel is a journal see this is a complementary pair some and no is a complementary pair okay so either this conclusion has to be true either some novels can be journals or no novels will be journals as how i have drawn in the basic diagram so if this conclusion is true this is false if this is true this is false yes so either conclusion 1 or conclusion 4 will be true okay so at this point itself you can mark this as your answer option for because only this is the option where they have either conclusion 1 or conclusion 4 now let us look at conclusion 2 in conclusion 2 uh, it is uh, given some books are magazines some books are magazines yes that is true third conclusion all books are magazines no that is false all books are not magazines yes we know only for sure that some books are magazines so here the correct answer will be option 4, either conclusion 1 or 4 and conclusion 2 follows. Okay. Now what is given here, all poets, next question, all poets are intelligent, all poets are intelligent, all singers are intelligent. So this is singers, this is poet. Yeah, I am done, drawn it with minimal overlapping, there can be intersection among them also, we are not, we don't know. So for now I have saw, drawn it like this. Now what is given here, all singers are poets again that's a possibility not a surety so this conclusion does not follow some intelligent persons are not singers again we are not sure about that yes might be all intelligent persons are uh, singers we don't know so that is also not a definite conclusion so here the answer is neither conclusion one nor conclusion two follows see for ssc uh, cgl reasoning ability section uh, do not uh, be under this assumption that since the section is very easy, I will definitely uh, score well and I will get good marks. The uh, main important uh, thing here to focus in reasoning is try to solve as many questions correctly as possible within the given time. So your aim has to be to get as many questions as possible correct. Okay, because these questions definitely you will be able to solve faster. They are very easy, you know, complexity is not so high. So see to it that you get maximum number of questions correct when it comes to the reasoning section. Uh, how to is not right? See what is given? Some intelligent persons are not singers. Is there anything said like that? I know, or see uh, what I know, I know all singers are intelligent. So for now with minimal overlapping, I can, I have drawn like this, all singers are intelligent. Now the singer and the intelligent said they can be like this, right? They can be the same also. The way I have drawn it is like this. So it can be like this also. So how can I say that some intelligent persons are not singers? This is not something that is definite. Yes. So, option 2 is not, does not follow. What are they saying in option 2? They are saying some intelligent persons are not singers. You cannot say that for sure. Might be, see this poets, right? This can be the set poets. Same way this set uh, singers, right? Singers will be like this. And the set, uh, one more set was there, no? What is that? Intelligent. 
it will be like this basically all three are, are the might be the same sets also right they are overlapping each other it can be like that also so you cannot take that okay some of you are looking at it the way from positive negative statements etc whichever way you can say even if you are using the venn diagram method just by looking at this itself you can say okay yeah so with that i think we are coming to an end of the uh, reasoning uh, ability section in the paper so that is it from us for now and i'll see you in the next session bye bye from me till then